I'm going to take a few propagations from some of my Hoyas today, and I thought that I would show you how I do that. Then I'm going to take those propagations and I'm going to have a sale. I'm going to do a video on the steps I take to do that sale. So I hope you join me today. The first plant I thought I'd take propagations from is this Lacanosa black leaves. I think it's uh, a really great looking Hoya. It's got some nice growth. I have my uh, clippers here, sterilize them. And I'm gonna take a look for a cutting or a place to cut that is not where there's new leaves. There's this cutting right here. So I'll take this cutting right here that has six leaves. I'll take this cutting right here has a lot of new growth, but it's got a new leaf right there. So I'll take this little, this little cutting. So I think I'll just take the two cuttings from this one and I'll cut, call it good. So what I'm gonna do is I have two cups. I have I have a cup with drainage holes and I have a cup without drainage holes. I'm gonna root these cuttings in pond. So I'm gonna fill up the inner cup, the cup with the holes with pond. I'm gonna put my cutting in and then I'm gonna put this reservoir cup on the outside. The first is my pre-washed pond. And take my cutting, fill the cup all the way up. It's still damp pond, so it kinda is uncooperative. And I just kind of squish the outsides of the cup around until I get this down in the cup. And that's all I need to do for that cutting. Now I'll put it in the outer cup and that's one cutting down. With the next cutting, I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Fill it up with pond. Don't mind me if I make a mess. That's why I have a mat potting mat, is for exactly that reason. Now this one has a shorter stem. And I have these, these are called strawberry forks. I want it to be cut caught between the stems for the leaves and the stem for the rest of the plant. And then just kind of pat that down around. And there we go. That's what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and take another small leaf cutting. And then I'm gonna take a couple from a bit of a larger plant. So when I think of small leaf, I think of my Rebecca. This is something that's constantly in bloom. This is also a plant that I need to uh, take care of. It's, it's really uh, needs a repot really bad, but it's got so many peduncles. I just need to find a good stem that I can take leaf cuttings from, as well as peduncle cuttings. I think I'm going to take this cutting right here and then divide it up into shorter cuttings. So take my, this is kind of wobbly, so I gotta be careful of it. So I'm gonna take my 
tears. Spray it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and take the cutting. So now I have this cutting and let's see where to divide it. Um, I think I'm going to take three node cuttings. So this bottom one off. So then I'll take, I'll leave this as a cutting with a peduncle. And I'll pot all of these in one cup. So I'm going to put all these in this one cup. And what it'll do is it will fill the cup up faster with roots so that it can be transplanted to a bigger pot a little faster. And hopefully the peduncle will stay. just leave it as these four cuttings with the peduncle. All right, looks good. We will, of course, not let that go to waste. I will put that in another cup. in and this time we'll grab a strawberry fork and we will position it like so have to be careful because it looks like this does have fresh growth right at the base. So that'll just be a little free cutting. Okay, so let's see if we can wrap this up a little, maybe. What it really needs is it really needs to be repotted and to have all of this taken off, but that's definitely something for another video. And there we go. The next plant I'm going to take cuttings from is actually quite similar to the last plant. And this is a Croniana Black. Um, I have it in Fluval right now. I don't think I'm going to take any cuttings. And in fact, this looks quite dehydrated. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out of the Fluval stratum it's in. And I think I'm going to put it in Pond. So to do that, I'm just going to take, empty it out. Just kind of squeeze on the sides. Okay, it looks like it's got some LECA in it. These roots look very, very fine. I'm just gently rubbing the roots to get the LECA off, to get the stratum off. I am not incredibly impressed 
by these roots. They look, yeah, see, they are very fragile. It makes me wonder if they're even viable anymore. So let's take these apart. Looks like I have two cuttings and these roots are just very fragile. Looks like it's got one good root there, but the rest need to be trimmed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim these roots, trim the, the fragile one. Sometimes it helps just to give a gentle tug on the ones you, you're questioning. And if they pull off, then you know to cut those. With Hoyas, bad roots will not grow good roots. They just, if they've rotted, they've, they've rotted. As you can see, I'm not even necessarily using the scissors. It's more like just using my hands to gently pull and feel what's good and what's not. Okay, so there's that part. And now this part, you can see all these little wispy ones. They just, they're just getting, with the lightest tug, they're pulling off. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim the roots. This could be as a result of being in flu ball stratum for too long, or I should say being in flu ball stratum that got too dry for too long, um, that weakened these roots. Okay. Okay, so now we have that which hopefully will be a lot more receptive to intaking water. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see all these dead roots. So that's a bit disappointing, but we can always restart them. There's, it's no, it's no loss to restart, just a little bit of time delay. One down looks pretty good. So there's one. There's there's the second cutting, and it's got this long vine that's got new little leaves growing on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a cutting off of my Callistophylla. This is a wonderful plant. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can take a cutting where there is some new growth. I'm gonna have to unwind this one to see where I can take the cutting from. I think I will take the cutting where there's, where there's a peduncle. So I'm gonna take it right here where there's this nice new leaf. So there we go. So it's got a peduncle there 
it's got some new growth there and it's got new leaf and two leaves and one new leaf and a pedunkle. I think one cutting of Callistophyllus should be enough. So let's go ahead and wrap this back up on its trellis. So there's that and look it's even got a new leaf right there so I'll put that back down right there so here's our nice leaf our nice cutting I don't think we'll need a strawberry fork for that but we might need to trim the stem a little shorter Okay, and there we are. The next cutting I'm gonna take, or the next plant I'm gonna take some cuttings from is my Kadata, and this is the variety Big Green Leaves. And as you see, it's got a lot of new leaves right now, and they're pretty sun-stressed. So I think I'm gonna take some cuttings away from the upper part of the plant. I think I'm going to stay away from the cuttings up here and I'm going to take from down here. I think I'm gonna take this one. Let's unwind it and see what we get. I think I'll take this cutting off of here. And there's a node here. It looks like leaves have grown off and fallen off. So I'll take this and then I'll trim it about right there. And then this is a very nice very fragile but fresh growth so this will be the cutting I choose and I think I'll leave that cutting on the vine and this one is still very new so I'll leave that one dead stem okay Let's trellis this back up before we go any further. trellised back up. So, got that one done. Now let's put our cutting together. Oops, making a mess. And there we go. And it's got that Beautiful new leaf on the end. The last 
plant I'm going to work on today is this Illigorum. This is a cup full of a bunch of cuttings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take all these cuttings out of this single cup and I'm going to pot them up individually. See how, see how tight this all is. They've been growing in here for about two months, maybe a little longer now. This is the fortunate thing about growing in glass is the roots all stick to the side and you have to very carefully nudge them out. There we go. And let's just kind of open them up. There's one. There's two. There's three, and there's four. Roots don't look too bad, they look pretty good. So now I will prop them up. I think I'm going to cut just this part off. There we go. There weren't really any roots attached onto that bottom part anyway, so. Okay, there's the first Illigorum. And Illigorum number two. Here's Illigorm number two. Looks good. Here's the big one, which I think I should probably put that in a four inch pot. Here's my third Illigorum. And for the final one, I'm gonna get a four inch pot and I'll be right back. I'm gonna use a four inch self-watering pot with a wick for the final illigorum. This one I, will be my illigorum. So what I'm gonna do is, of course, sterilize the scissors. I'm gonna take the wick and there's, there's three holes that you can push the wick through. So I just push the wick through one, side this wick is a little thread barren okay so just kind of drop it like that it doesn't need to be a long wick it just needs to reach down into the water See how far down I need this to sit. So maybe a little like that. And there is my Illigorum in a four inch self watering pot. Those are the cuttings that I'm going to take today. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up all this mess. And the next thing I'll do is I will go ahead and get these ready 
for a sale. My next video will be how I put cuttings up for sale, my process. So I hope that you go ahead and join me for that. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.